Hey everybody, this is TJR. Today I found out that a new song has been released by Paul McCartney. It's the third advanced single from his upcoming album to be entitled Egypt Station. The first two advanced tracks, I did do a video analysis of them, and you can catch that video. I'll leave you a link. Today I found out about this new song because a number of commenters asked me what I thought of it. And I'll have to say, first of all, that those who did comment and did express their opinion uh, expressed quite a bit of disappointment over it. I want to read a comment here by one uh, commenter here. His name is Martin Lucasen. He writes, I wonder what you think about Fa You, the new single by of McCartney. To me, it's a very cheap song that tries to be a forced modern song. And after listening to the track, uh, and I listened to it quite a number of times, uh, probably about five or six times, I have to kind of agree, to be frankly honest. Um, it's almost as if McCartney looked at the formula that most modern pop songs are following these days and said, okay, this is what you folks want, this is what you need to get on the radio, then this is what I'll do. Uh, the song uses a chord progression that so many, and I mean so many, pop songs being released today use, and it's a four, one, six, five progression. Uh, this is in the key of F, which I believe is the key he's playing in. And now when I first, the, when the song first started, it wasn't that bad. It, it started with this sort of almost circus organ sound, and it kind of reminded me a little bit of uh, the, a track from Memory Almost Full, uh, Everybody, uh, Everybody Dance Tonight. It almost felt a little bit like that at first. Uh, but then the vocal melodies, the way it's cadenced, it is following kind of that pattern that just so many other modern pop songs are doing. It then goes into the big chorus where it's, it's just really big and huge and everybody's singing in unison. I think there's even some, ah, ah, you know, in the background, that type of thing, which a lot of modern pop songs do. Uh, in fact, I'm surprised it didn't do this. You know, it's using that same chord progression, uh, there have been so many modern pop songs that use that cliche. I am so sick of hearing this. Like that, and that, oh, God, that drives me insane if I have to hear another song do that again. I know you're not used to seeing me be this negative, but uh, this is why I don't like a lot of modern pop music. Everybody's just kind of sticking to a formula. No one's veering from it very in any great way, shape, or form simply because they want to get on the radio. And radio looks for songs that sound like other songs that have already been on the radio because they're afraid that listeners are going to tune away. And when something finally breaks out that is not like that, that is melodic and interesting, like a song like Happy by Pharrell, which is just joyous and wonderful and has all these layers and textures and the chord progressions don't follow these formulas and it breaks out, it's just like the, the general public goes insanely crazy and I can't blame them. They've been fed the, you know, the same formula constantly. It's like, it's like being fed the same meal over and over again. And finally you get to eat something different. And you're like, oh my gosh, I can't believe how good this is. That's kind of the reaction. So yeah, it's, it's, it's a disappointing track. And I have heard songs that use the same three or four chord vamp over and over through the whole song, yet somehow the performance or the way it's arranged, the way the artist has put it together, keeps it interesting. But this song just doesn't do that. It's too much like everything else. So it's one song. Hopefully the rest of the album is better. And like I said, maybe this was just released as an appeal to radio. Who knows? Uh, this brings up to me something that was brought up in the comments on the video that I released entitled, Paul McCartney hasn't written a good song in decades. Uh, of course, I disagree with that opinion but and wanted to argue it. And someone brought up the fact that, you know, even during McCartney's classic golden age period after the Beatles, the 70s, not everything he released was fantastic. There were some albums that, you know, weren't as great. And even the albums that were fantastic had songs on them that, you know, were fairly skippable. I, of course, love Venus and Mars. It's, it's a great album and it's one of my favorites by McCartney solo. But there are days when I will skip over uh, a track like Love and Song. Maybe some days I'll listen to it, some days I won't. The closing track, Crossroads theme, uh, I remember back in the days of vinyl thinking, well, at least it's at the end of the record. It's a, you know, I thought it was a pretty cheesy track, so at least it was at the end of the record, and I could just take the needle off and put it, you know, 
put the record away after, once that track came on. I never cared for that track very much. It's one bad song. Let's not judge the whole album by it. Let's just wait and see what the album sounds like. You never know. Sometimes you might feel differently about the song when you hear it in context with the rest of everything else. And I know I probably sound like I'm making excuses to some people. But this has happened to me before. I was not a huge fan of that first U2 advanced single um, from their last album that was released. And I changed my mind about it slowly and felt differently about it when I heard it in context with the rest of the album. It just played better. And that does happen. Anyways, though... What are your thoughts? Do you agree with me? Uh, do you think I'm full of it? Go check out the track and let me know in the comments. I want to thank you all for watching. As always, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. And if you do subscribe, be sure to click notifications so you can know when I release new videos. Thanks everybody for watching. You know, you'd think they'd at least change up those four chords once in a while. How hard can it be?